Hello, my name is Jean White. I would like to introduce you to the Manual of Infection Control Policies that we are hoping you will adopt for use in your organisation. Tackling healthcare associated infection is a priority for Welsh Government and so having robust evidence-based policies to support practice is key in the prevention and control of these infections. We have teamed up with NHS Scotland to host and utilise their electronic National Infection Control Manual to ensure all healthcare organisations in Wales have access to consistent, current and standardised policies which will support practice. As part of routine updating of the manual, Public Health Wales will contribute to the Consensus Committee that approves and ratifies changes to ensure they are fit for purpose. This e-manual is live for you to access via the website and is updated and reviewed routinely as new evidence emerges. For example, any new research or guideline. This removes the need for periodic rewriting and approval of policies typically done every three years because Health Protection Scotland has a dedicated team who routinely review new literature and synthesise the evidence for inclusion in the manual. When the manual was first launched in Scotland, healthcare organisations were reluctant to give up their paper-based and local policy manuals. But it has now become adopted by all, embraced with enthusiasm and is the go-to for infection control policy on key topics. This manual contains an evidence list for each section that you can refer to. These reference lists include the Scottish guidance, therefore all relevant Welsh guidance that you will need to have have been added to the web pages for each section of the manual for you to refer to. You will see that chapter one is on standards for infection control precautions and identifies the measures needed to reduce risks to all staff and patients in all settings on all occasions and is the cornerstone of infection prevention and control. There are also some useful short videos to demonstrate practice and procedures. Chapter 2 is on transmission-based precautions, which builds on Chapter 1 to give clear guidance on additional precautions required according to the transmission route of the infection or organism. We hope that this e-manual will contribute to standardised practice for infection prevention, so leading to harm reduction, infection reduction and improved quality of care and therefore should be signposted to students as well as staff. The manual will evolve and new content and new policies will be added over time with the contribution of Public Health Wales. We hope you find it easy to use and hopefully will reduce the burden of policy development for us all.